So um, how's your stay been so far since you've been here? It's been great here. Yeah, I mean, the food been wonderful. Yeah, I've been doing myself since I've been out here. Yeah. Okay. Um, what would you say? How many times have you been? I've been in New York about two times. It's my second time. Okay. All right, great. Um, would you say are there any like go-to spots, any favorite places you like to go once you come? I'm trying, to, I'm trying to find out a spot tonight. Like every time I came out here, it was like you know rapping to rappers, catching rappers. But right. tonight I'm also like trying to find out what's popping tonight. Okay, okay. We we'll have to put you on to some places maybe All right. afterwards. All right. All right. So, um, how did it, uh, how did your name come about? Can you tell us how you got, got your name? Cali, it's weird because um, I used to stay wearing dickies a lot, and you know in California they wear they wear dicky cortez, and I just you know I always wear that. So my, my my cousin started calling me that, and I just went with the name. So that's how the name came about. Okay, good, good. All right. Um, what about and um, so it looks like so far in your career, you're just pretty much showing the people that anything is possible. All right. Um, what would you say you were doing before you came? Rapping. I was rapping all my life. Like, really? All my life I've been doing this shit. I'm from, I was young, like six years old, seven years old, walking around with a mic doing this, like, you know, just to see it happen. And now, like, you know, saying it pay off. It's like, you know? wonderful. Dream come true. Right. So this is kind of, it was kind of this or nothing. Like, this is what you always saw yourself yeah. doing. And really, like, since I've been grinding, I ain't know how I, I motivate a lot of people because a lot of people see me, you know, and they tell me how I motivate them, you know. I, I have people coming up to me and say, man, you the reason I ain't quit. So I just, so that's how I make my music off my struggle in my life. So I talk to the people who feel like giving up. So that's the type of music I make for just people, for people that's in the struggle. Yeah. So, okay. Uh, Would you say it's any, there's anyone maybe on the New York scene that really inspires you or that you listen to, that you like, okay, I'm with it. Six nine, fuck with six nine. Okay. Okay. All right. He definitely got some hits out there. All right, hits. Back back. <laughs> yeah. Shout out six nine. All right. So can you tell us like a little bit about the New Orleans like or Nola? What's that scene like? The rap scene out there. I feel like um, New Orleans, that's a bounce culture. It's like everybody making bounce music. Like, if you look at New Orleans, everybody out there listening to a bounce, you know, like that Drake in my feelings. Yeah. Okay. Drake okay. in my feelings. Like, yeah. There's a lot of that going on. So, really, if you're in New Orleans, you just, just really got to get out, you know, hit the outskirts, you know, to get your music heard. So, that's what I did, you know, and got my music heard. Would there be any other people in New Orleans that you feel like? Or like the people that you look to for inspiration in your music or any artists? Um Roga, um and Kane Gang, yeah. Man. So I look up to, you know, motivation. Okay, that's good. Okay. So can you explain to some of us who aren't from NOLA? Um they've got eighth ward, they got ninth ward. What would you say would be the main difference between the two areas? Is it a huge difference or are they all kind of like is it kind of one? It ain't the, it ain't a huge difference. It's just, you know, separating like they really the same size, like really, you know. Okay. So it's no beef between anybody. If you eighth ward, you ninth ward, yeah, they got saying? beef. They got beef going yeah. a lot of beef. Okay. Wow. Okay. Um, what would you say was like um Growing up and um, what were you like as a child? I was I was bad. I was out here, you know, messing up. When I was young, I was out here wilding. So, you know, I got it all together now. You know? Okay. Well, that's good. It looks like you're definitely you're making a name for yourself from the bottom up and grinding. Right. So. I got two children now. You know, they're oh, looking okay. up to me, so I got yeah. to do the right thing. Definitely, definitely. Um. I would say, okay, so did you uh, recently, have you moved to Atlanta? Is that where you call home now? Or are you That's still? Atlanta, man. Okay, yeah. okay. Um, when you went to Atlanta, had you been there a couple of times first? Or are you one of those people who you said, this is the scene, this is where I need to be, and you just went there? Really, I just, not just Atlanta, I've been going all over the world. I just, you know, I went to Atlanta. And I started rapping to like, I went to the Mall Lennox and, you okay. know, 
I met Young Thug and I rapped for him, you know? Mm. And so when it went viral, I just kept that strategy up. Like, I know everybody comes to this mall and I know my grind. So I was like, man, I'm always out here morning and night. Right. So that's how I was catching them. I was at the mall every day grinding, getting my mixtapes off. So mm. I felt like Lennox was my spot. So now I just got signed to this man named Jay Richie, you know what I mean? Okay. So it's really making music, you know what I mean? So I ain't, I ain't out there at the mall no more. What would you say um, some of the biggest issues, I guess, that you've had since, like, on your grind, while you're trying to, you know, make a name for yourself? Are there any specific things that you feel like um, that are in the way? Like, maybe if you, like, one new artist to another that you could, like, recommend or that you could say that you've gone through? Like, what you mean? Um, like, any troubles that you have, like, on your grind, like, whereas... Like, are you, for example, are you trying to get a major, or are you more one of those guys that want to grind it out and be independent? Like, what would you say your path is that really you're trying to take right now? Independent, grind and do it independently. Yeah? I mean, okay. I signed to, really, I signed to a major like, like Sony or somebody like big, but not, not another artist. You know? Right, right, right. But it's got to make sense for you, though. Got to make sense. Okay. Right. All right. I got you. All right. So, so, quick question. So, if, if um, Birdman would offer you like a bag of money, would you sign with Cash Money, uh, your rich gang? All right. Okay. So, what do you know about? Um, did you do a freestyle for NBA YoungBoy? That's yeah. something that happened. And what was that like? Uh, it was. Um, it was just weird. You know, just a lot of stuff was going on. Okay. You know? And like he spent out for me, but mm. he, he young, so I feel like, you know, it's all love, you know what I mean? Right, right. You're not really into any of that. You're just trying yeah, to pretty much grind, grind it out, grind out, work on your career. I got yeah, you. Right. Okay. Um, did you ever um, rap for like Quavo, one of the Migos? I rap for Quavo. Okay. What type, of, what type of person, how do you feel you were received? Like when you met him. Like I respect him because they, you know, they let me know they knew who I was, and he told me go ahead and, you know, rap to him. He just told me keep pushing, you know, what I mean? keep holding it down for my city. So I feel like cool vibe. Okay. Um, any other people in the industry like um, Boosie or anybody? How do you feel about them? Boosie, Soldier Boy. How do you feel about uh, those rappers? It's all love to all the rappers. Okay. Every rapper I ran across. You know? Soldier Boy, you know, he was the first one I talked to. He the first one that was supposed to, like, you know, get on a song with me. But okay. I lost his contact. But I put it, it was on YouTube. I was on the phone with him, and he was telling me he don't need to hear nothing else in my, nothing else in my music because he was like, it's hot. You know what I mean? So, okay. shout out to Soulja Boy. Okay. And um, if you could give, I guess if you could give advice um, to any other up-and-coming rapper, what would be maybe one or two tips that you would give them to just, I guess to not be discouraged, but to, to keep Work on your craft, stay grinding, stay making music, and don't let nobody tell you you can't go. Just keep pushing. I don't care how hard it gets, you gotta just keep pushing. You know what I'm and um, do you have any maybe upcoming, any events or anything upcoming, or is this more of a connection strip? Are you doing any type of performance right here? I was out here shooting a video. I just shot a video last last night in my shooting video tomorrow. So, yeah, I'm out here shooting, shooting videos. Um, and is there any anywhere um, we should look, be looking for you in the future? Any like dates or? Um... Soon I should have have a lot of stuff coming up. I got a song with um my do a song with Rich on the Quine. That's gonna be my first big feature. Like that. It's gonna be my first. It's gonna go big because they're gonna be like we finally on the song with. Somebody that's in the industry. Well, that sounds good. You sound like you got a really great head on your shoulders. I wish right. you nothing but the best with your career. Um, can you tell us like where we can find you? Like some of your your social media. Instagram. Instagram. Mad Music Cali. Music is spelled M U Z I K. Twitter. Real Mad Music. Facebook. Mad Music. And Snapchat. We are Mad Music. So y'all check me out on the social sites. Right, this has been one on hip hop. I got you. Yeah. Any other yeah, let me just have you one quick question. In the studio, what's the process? Do you write or do you freestyle on the track? I write now. I write. I don't freestyle. I write. I write all my music now. So when I'm 
when I go in the studio, my stuff is well known. I ain't got no problem with it. Mm -hmm. You know, I write it down. Or you like one of those rappers who always carry a book around and just write, write, write? Or yeah. you write to the track? Yeah, I write to the track. You write to the track? Yeah. And you got song prepared. Like, you have mixtape prepared. Like, let's yeah, say you could drop 20 track. mixtapes if you feel like it. Right. Anything yeah. of that nature. Yeah, I got music built up. One thing I was doing, um, I ain't have my publishing and stuff right. So right now, mm. I ain't dropping the music I want to because I'm handling all my publishing so it, so it can make sense now. You know what I mean? So uh -huh. I just went through a lot of mistakes and now I learned. Now explain that to other coming rappers about publishing. Y'all get y'all publishing. Uh, y'all gotta buy these beats. You ever start rapping on these these other people beat? Get your own beat. Buy the publishing. Uh, get a split sheet with the producer and, and put it out there. You know and make money off it. Make it make sense. And don't sample, right? Yeah, don't sample. Because yeah. sample eat like a big chunk right. of your yeah. of your production yeah. or your writing credits. Right. I ain't know none of that, but I know none. And how did you learn? You learned through trial and error or just? This dude who signed me to me, like, he let me know. Like, Cali, we ain't doing this no more, so that's how I learned. And then when I did, I'm like, man, I could learn this on my own, but, you know, mm -hmm. it took him for me to learn. So I'll get y'all publishing and stuff together, you know what I mean? All right, let me ask you another question. Um, when you're outside with the CDs, get handed out the CDs, it's like, oh, you out there, like, day and night? Uh, how many CDs would you sell in a day versus like a week? Oh, I just, I sold so many. Either, either, you know, some days it's 50, some days it's 20, some days it's just, you know, you might not sell none of them, you know, but mm -hmm. I sold a lot. Since I've been grinding on the hot, probably 100,000, I sold a lot, a lot of mixtapes. Would you, uh, when was the last time you sold any CDs? Would well, you think it would be feasible to still um, sell CDs outside right now, or just give, uh, give let's say, give somebody like a thumb drive or flat drive with your music? Yeah, that's good. Really, I can't really say because you never know how people want to handle their business. So, mm -hmm. you know, I, I feel like streaming is the best now. You know, streaming. Yeah. You know, streaming. You can just go. How many views you get? No, that's that. That go to money right there. But I think it's, don't you feel like it's even harder that way? Because everybody could just stream nowadays versus um, me and you, whereas I might not have money to like distribute a CD, whereas you might have money to go outside and hand the CDs out. Right. Do you think streaming make things more complicated or more competitive? I don't, I don't think so. Like, you know, this is the money, the money right there. Like, you sign up for Tune Call, you know, you're getting 100,000 views, 200,000 views, you're making the money right there. Mm -hmm. you know? shows so I feel like but I feel like grinding with the distance you can make a lot of money like that. I True. went state to state making a lot that's how I ate that's how I, I ain't have a job in a minute. Them CDs kept me alive like nice. Like I was at Lennox people giving me twenty, a hundred for this. I um created the rapper catcher shirts. Every rapper that I ran across like brought Brought the shirt, like gave me a hundred. I made a lot of profits. So. Nice. Hey, what was the name of the shirt? Um, it was called a rapper catcher. You know, I was rapping to the rappers. So, yeah. And I seen all my fans putting rapper catcher. Oh, you a rapper catcher. So all I did was went with that, and then I sold a lot of them shirts. So. Nice. So let me ask you. So when you had your CD and um, you converted all your song that was on your CD to um, streaming, and which song, which song was like streamed the most, or had the most streams? I got a song called A Trap that got the most, like, I got 50, 60,000 on Spotify, um, I think 12,000 on SoundCloud, 4,000 on um, YouTube, and that was just all myself, like, with, with the dude about to do now, he about to push that to even more, like, promoting it, like, mm -hmm. promote me, like, everything that I need, where I start, so, I was pushing that by myself, so. That's pretty good. Yeah. And you was getting streamed on regional level, or just, like, on uh, national? regular level like YouTube like I just put my stuff on YouTube this before I ain't know the game I just upload something to YouTube and just let them play mm -hmm. you know so wow cool yeah um what do you feel about in social media today where it seems like fans want to know so much about your life how how open would you say you're willing to be with your fans for example you know um do you show a lot of your day-to-day -day life or is it more just strictly music that you focus on? 
I ain't gonna lie, when I was on the grind, I showed them my life. Mm. They felt like they know me. Like people feel like they know me. Like, like man, like but I feel like now since I gotta be in the studio recording now, it's just really like putting my pain on the on the music and show them through my videos now. Cause they but they know who I am, so I feel like if you can get a crowd to believe in something like you make the world believe in something like I talk about how it took me to get from here to there. They believe me, Because you know? they invested, they followed you, they feel like right. you wanted their friends, so they're gonna support. That makes a lot of sense. Right. Um, what do you feel about some of the shows, like the Love on Love and Hip Hops? Would you ever be wanting to do would you be that open, like a reality yeah, show? Okay, so you say your life is pretty much like an open book, you're not really one to right. you don't have like a lot to hide or anything. Right, yeah. Okay. Well, that's good. This has definitely been a pleasure speaking with you and um any other questions you have for? No, that's all the questions I have. Okay. Right. Thank yeah. you so much for No, time. actually no one quick question. I remember when you freestyle for someone, right? So you freestyle the same lyric or you just freestyle something fresh? See, what it was, my people were telling me freestyle the same like at first I started just freestyling the same thing because I was like, if I drill something in their head, they'd be like, why do you keep rapping the same thing? Then I drop the track for it, it's stuck in their head, so you know, that's why I was rapping the same thing. But now I don't even like really do that no more. But I am gonna rap the one more person that I got last on my list. And that's Wayne. You know? I never that was my goal. Like I said this as a goal, like everybody keeps saying, Hey, when you gonna rap the Wayne? They wanna see this. So okay. Wayne. Wayne gonna have me, you know? mm -hmm. I called Wayne already, know who I am. I really couldn't talk to Wayne like that, but he took a picture with me. Mm -hmm. And the fans just went crazy over that picture. Just the, like, they were like, man, you say you was gonna do this. So mm -hmm. when I do post that footage of me rapping, so it's gonna be big. So. so would you say that would be like your ideal, your dream collaboration to work with Wayne, Wayne to get on the track? Wayne with him? Meek Mills. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah. Meek Mills, okay, yeah. I can see with Meek Mills, yeah. yeah. Would you say ever get? Would you ever want to get signed with Dream Chasers? I sign. I sign with. Man, I sign with. I sign with. I sign with. Man, me like we talk about the same like you know. Me, me saw me and told me um we know who you is. Not making mixtape. So right now I'm working on a mixtape. Yeah, so, mm, so they want to hear your music. Yeah, they want to hear the music. And so, see what you're right, all about. Right now, like I've been drop. When he told me to do that, I dropped a tape while I was rapping over everybody beats. Now. I'm in the studio, everything gonna be professional, everything gonna be my own beat, the mm -hmm. publishing, everything gonna be right. So this time, when I drop, I'm gonna be ready. So. Then it's featured with Rich Holmes, so I'm gonna to another level. So. Nice, I like that, cool. Yeah, all right, I got it.